Mainstream. Sounds streamy. These are our stream highlights for the game. I'd like to thank the publisher for providing me a review copy of the game through the Indie Game Collective. It was developed by Cerulean Interactive. It was published by Cerulean Interactive. Way to go on self-publishing. It was released on February 12th to the Steam Marketplace for the budget price of $9.99. And rolling. Hello and welcome to Sunday night here on the Bean Farm. <laughs> Haven't streamed in a while, but got some exciting stuff here. Uh, looking at a new game upcoming, uh, Rift World. It's on uh, PC. We're going to be playing it on Steam here. Let's look at this game, Rift World on Steam. It's a first-person hardcore uh, action, first-person shooter, maybe. I think this one has a lot more to do with um, kind of flying around the map, um, spells, magic. I am going to try and uh, go ahead and play it with a Xbox controller, see if, see if that's functional. If not, we'll be switching over to mouse and keyboard. Back into the game. Okay, it looks like there's some challenges here where... Maybe like uh, achievements, keep you playing a little bit longer within the game. New chapter, new game, chapter select challenges, settings and credits. Settings, got all my sound, graphics, let's go all the way up. Nothing can stop me, I'm all, all the way, way up. up. Boom. Control, see that's my concern is if all of this fits onto this. <laughs> yes! That's awesome right there. Perfect. All right. That's all I needed. Because we're juicing this. All right. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Uh oh. Take him out and adjust my. Uh, I have unlimited Zappos. Yeah, my right thumbstick is not rotating fast enough for me. Controller sensitive, let's amp that up. Still, not gonna be able to play like that. That's a bit more sensitive, it's moving. But my camera control, what can we do to fix that mouse sensitivity, controller sensitivity? I don't know, folks. This may just be what it is. Because I like that a little better with the mouse. A, a button does like a ground pound. Looking to jump. Is there a tutorial that tells me? There we go. It doesn't help me if I'm on controller, yo. X does nothing, Y does nothing, B does nothing, A does a ground pound. Left trigger, right trigger, right trigger just... There it is. It's on the left bumper. So we have a... What? Okay. Me... I like... So when you come down, there's no going back up. You can kind of get some flight going up. That'll take some getting used to. But I do like the little swoopy double jump. I'm just gonna have to get the feeling down for that before I'm comfortable enough to fly around here. Let's 
going to say, did I miss that Cheerio? Checkpoint. We got to do something with this right thumbstick. I can't. If some guy is attacking me from behind, I'm going to be like all day. I have to use a mouse and keyboard on this. Maybe a, a learning curve for this guy. Dash across. See, if you control, if you have native support for like an Xbox or, or controller on the platform, wouldn't you do kind of a, all right. So maybe in a patch in the future, let's go ahead and update this to also include if the player's on using a controller. Dash, double dash. I'm a, I'm a fan of the controller, but it's part of the reason I don't play a lot of Steam games. It's just the, the native, a lot of them do native support controllers, controller support. I just find it to be a bit more of a, a casual feeling rather than, uh, you know, the mouse and keyboard cramping. But what am I saying? I'm talking to a PC audience. Y'all don't know what I'm saying. All right, I got the primary attack. Like that the uh, baby hold my hand to begin with, at least kind of explaining some of the controls, getting that out of the way. Monoliths are key to rift gates. Destroy them to advance further. So if I see this rift gate, this monolith. Yeah, I am going to have to mouse and keyboard this. It feels a lot better on mouse and keyboard. May I have to set the controller down, folks. Isn't that right? Bray Flex. and mana. So far I'm not seeing that I need mana. I don't have a... Maybe that's... Maybe I'm covering it up with my big mug. I keep destroying these little rock monsters, these guys. Ten. Is that ten points of damage I'm doing to him? Or is that like... See, I do get some sort of mana or XP or something. Why is it when I'm not touching anything? Oh, I had stick drift going on. I was like, why am I fox trotting it? I would have been better off just hitting this mouse and keyboard from the get-go. Ground slam this control. Yeah, you guys are gonna make me Crab claw to control this. So do I clear the map of all these enemies? Do they give me XP? Uh, any sort of bonus for clearing every enemy? Can I make it? Easy. With ease. Spell books. Die, you! Some environments are destructible, others are not. Interesting. Spell book. Did it tell me how to interact with it? F doesn't work. Q and E were mana. Space is jump. Maybe right, right mouse button. 
left mouse button. It's what it is. Ooh. Tab to check your spell book. Place the new spell into the slot so I put it out. Me. No fancy logo, but I can now see my life, mana, potions. At least I can see the game better this way. Wish that's what it's all about. Nobody wants to see you. Alright. So this is the way that we're venturing on. Secondary attack. Is that my fireball that I... Whoa! <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> Slow it down. All right, let's respawn. Holy moly. That's crazy. Well, the life bar is down now. I'll get some of this. Plenty of that. It's definitely a feeling of something tells me I want that. All right, I didn't pay attention. What was that gem? Almost knocked me off to my death. I'm gonna have to figure out how to bounce, float, and fight. Did that use mana? Or does the fireball take my health? Oh no, the, the blue diamond man? Is that bad? I don't know what that is. I thought those raisins, I eat it and get superpowers. No? Alright, so I'm going past these jokers. I'm gonna take out your monolith, see how you like that. Ooh, terrible. Alright, don't just jump right into battle. I forget how to ground pound now. Is that like control or something? I'm just gonna obliterate everything that moves. Nobody's safe. At least I'm not seeing that it, it, uh, it's a necessarily a bad thing if you respawn like that. Do I lose? Do I lose XP? Covering these uh, IGC things, uh, I may just have to start playing mouse and keyboard more often. Get off these consoles a little bit. Get used to this gameplay a little bit more. Play on some of uh, some of Brave Flex's Battlefield games. Alright, so this, this rift portal, I'm guessing is going to exit this tutorial. Ah, didn't want to do that. So ultimately, you're trying to get through the world, get whatever treasures you can from it, and get to this rift portal. Ugh, am I going to fall? Okay, so we've got a score, your kills, your combos. What about my respawns? It doesn't go against me. 
And master of sorcery, is that is that good? Is that like a platinum or is that just like bronze level? You barely made it, bro. Okay. So you can try and better your level. Oh, quicker, faster, stronger. Onward! Sweet. Another challenge down. Ugh. What's a bouncy, bouncy? Who's bouncing me? These mushrooms? No. Oh, if I just bump it. Cool. Something new. New mechanic. So, yeah, let me... Let me come back on here and speak at you for a second. I gotta label my cameras better. There's that. That's not it. It's the old camera. So, let's talk about this first level of Rift World. Um, not thrilled on the right thumbstick. If it's just me and I'm not seeing it in the options, it, it seems like something that most players would want to control your, your camera. Because the movement, my character movement is great. Love it. Don't know if I'm so much in love with having my jump button up here on the, my uh, left button. But who knows, maybe further into the game, That'll change. Do I have the ability to switch in game? See, I would like to be able to uh, move that LB button down to the A ground slam and, and swap those out for more of a traditional. And, you know, I, I, I just don't want to do it with a third party app, I want to do it in game. Food for thought, something to think about. Um, and just the ability to, I mean, it's really just forcing me to play with mouse and keyboard if, it, if I'm truly stuck with this for a camera to look around that slow. See, there's something attacking me right behind me right now. I've got to like, or I could grab the mouse and be like, whoa, what's all? Ha 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 ha. You get it. All right. Beat that horse to death. So I'm kidding, continuing on with the mouse and keyboard. I'm going to forget the controller altogether right now. And see, this is where I came in. So this is where I go out. Really? Oh, I was also going to say the draw distance is on this, you know, small indie developer. If this is a single developer, you know, I get it. The, the, the world looks beautiful. You got a great thing going on. Great concept. Um, looks like a fun game. The sound, I'm blown away by the soundtrack. It feels and sounds mystical. Uh, but just all this fog hiding your draw distances and just, I don't know. Maybe I'm in a mystical world and it's, everything's froggy. Something to think about. Whoa, I'm under attack! I've got grand spell save. now. This game was designed for ground warfare. Where am 
I going? Something down there. Hmm? Ah, uh, it says you forgot your monolith. Go get your monolith. Right. Is mushroom gonna bounce me? <laughs> of course it is. Want some rah? Of course you do. and keyboard killing me. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. What's up with that? Let's get it. Ooh. Ooh, them glass things hurt. Ow. something mm. what stinks as well it's just you know running for cover right and left I feel like I'm gonna run off the side of this world and I'm just like floating on a little chunk of rock out here never really quite feel safe They're all very interesting, whether it chains between the enemies, it goes out and essentially heat seeks, or high velocity blast of water that pierces through the enemies at long range. Sniper, missile, or chain essentially like a grenade. Well, I based on my accuracy so far this would probably be the most beneficial I think I want to move those around see how that rolls it once again I'm covering my Mana and health bars, I can't see it. Let's see how that works. How do I ground that? Is that control? Yeah. No? It's control. 
cold though. It puts, it puts my hands away. How do I get my hands back? Now I'm just pushing buttons. Oh man, I pushed T and it like changed my soundtrack. Oh, there goes my ground pound. Control charges it. And then when I move it, releases it. I don't know. Gotta get a little bit more familiar. All right, so where are we going? This way? Shark rose. Take off, eh? Sort of firepower. Losing my screen again, my projector keeps giving out. Come on, don't reduce it. Oh, I gotta keep my mouse up there. Sorry. Hold on. Where's my stream feed? There it is. All right. Somebody's watching. <laughs> and action. Having troubles on this Sunday night. Interesting take on um, kind of the, whether it be Sirius Sam or Duke or Quake, Hexen, that's what I was trying to think of earlier. Essentially, this kind of reminds me of Hexen with the magic. Dude, these guys are just rolling. Where are you coming from? Unlimited. I like that. Don't have to worry about running out of mana on that. Now when I hit that that uh, tower, what that thing's called, that terminal, the power that comes to me is that is that mana? I don't know what that is. in this world that I was just flying around. I think I've already got my spell book. Got this treasure chest. I believe I'm down on health, so I just popped a potion for that. Which probably went to waste. Are there any... A secret like there was I found that golden gem is there a golden gem in every level that you have to like fly around and find like down there or can I just proceed I'm gonna proceed 
So time is not a thing. But obviously, where was I not as proficient? Getting the orbs, the kills, the combos. I bet you that definitely the combos I could improve on, but is, is time not a thing? I don't know. Next rift. Bring it. Okay, pumpkin man. Do I just eat it? Whoa. What's that mean? I mean, there are pumpkins everywhere. Not every one of these can be like... Okay. So I feel like I just came in from right here. I just exit the level there and it's like... It's this bonus world. As I keep looking at this thing over here, I want it. Can I get over here? Just an apple? There's some distinct possibilities for secrets and Easter eggs to be hidden around in this thing. I'll give them that. I mean, look at this jump ability. Oh, on point! I can fly around be crazy magic man. Find hidden apple barrels all over the place. I mean, can I make it over there? With ease. <laughs> so, what is the purpose of Pumpkin World? Uh, that, these trees are ludicrous. The purpose of Pumpkin World is to go through here? Uh, must be. Throw me into a war zone. Glass shards just don't even play, and they're like, kick! Jim! Oh, that's so frantic. So frantic, I click off screen. Oh, I did it again. So many monitors. Who, who are you? Kill my face. So I wonder, are the combos built on like a single run without a death? Like when I die, it resets the combo. So it's my entire combo run. How do I keep going off screen? Alright, to prevent it going off screen all the time, I'm just gonna jump back and see what controller does for us. Maybe 
maybe I play a little bit more stealth and not run right into the fight. Maybe that's the idea. What do you think? It's kind of fun that you can interact with the objects. I mean, these don't give health, they just environmental. Okay. Mm, sure. what it is I have to go around and find all these monoliths and as I destroy the monoliths then the rift will open boy the draw distance on that look at that Screen, lots of stuff flying around. More of my ground pounds about worthless. Some of that uh, heat seeker there. Some of my fire magic. Ooh, big man, big him. See, I want to ground pound on them, but I think they're gonna destroy me if I do. I need to escape and then hit him from a distance. Which are the crystals weak? Is that their thing? It's just no. Maybe if I actually hit them. Who's that? Who that? Alright. It plays up. It's just me. I prefer the controller. I can't hit WSAD, QE, control, space bar, and like 19 buttons with one hand. Call me an old farmer. What you have it. So there's no XP. There, is there? Do I, is it just points? Ten points I get for hit, killing the little rock slug. Oh snap! Here they come! Here they come! Here they come! Oh, there they be. Yeah, they be. So maybe if I hit that, if I had that, what was it, water that said it went long distances, I can kind of snipe some of these from a distance. Whereas my primary weapon isn't strong enough. I, I, what are you doing? Got my face! Send some pumpkins over there. I don't think I want them. There. Now this 
looks interesting, but it's nothing. See, there could be some really cool Easter eggs all up here in the clouds that nobody knows about. I hear ya, I hear ya. me too hot. Alright, so it looks like my life is down. It starts me down with like half or quarter life. Which I don't think I'm going to be able to get into some pumpkins early enough. So maybe is it... Oh boy. Take to the air. The ground is not safe. Sending out the minions. Is it you? I don't think it's Big Man. The purple ones are just annoying. You! You know, in the gameplay of this, all, all I have to say. There was no difficulty option, was, was there? Because, look how long it takes me to turn around to get to this game. Being that there's no difficulty options, I mean this... If there's no real penalty other than resetting your combo for respawning, then there shouldn't be any reason that anybody could just, couldn't, given time, Play through the game, that's it. Or if you want to get hardcore, go for score. If you want to go hardcore, go for score. Or be like me, jump in the pit. Reset your combo. Yay, more spells. Name your spell. Mm. Warp through a brief rift ripple in the rift directly to the position of your current gaze. Okay, a blink, so a transport. Scatter seeds that'll fight for you. Blink like a warp. Uh, pocket vortex. Small rippling vortex that transforms. Small tear in the rift. Put blasts of arcane magic fire out of the tear during. I don't know. How powerful is it? Is it is it more powerful than my slow heat seeking? Out of all these, I think just the scatter seeds. I bet you those scatter seeds are weak though. So, playing with a controller, I want to make a choice. Is it left stick? No, left stick does nothing. Right stick, nothing. It's got to be the D-pad, right? D-pad? So how's the guy supposed to choose this? Work on your uh, controller options, your gameplay with a controller. I like that it was natively set up for it. It was exciting. Because I love playing Steam games with a controller. I'm just a console guy at heart. What can I say? For the sake of shooting me, Fred. And you! I think you're going to get away with it. Just because you're cute. Alright, so there's X. Heal me. This is Q and E down there. Oh, I must be all out of health potions. 
That's probably what my problem is. Felt like there was somebody over here I forgot to already get him. And what's up here? Can I just sit here and rock this guy from a distance and... One, 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 like, doesn't really affect him, low damage. Is that the, oh, seriously? Once again, why would you put jump up on LB? It's such an awkward, I don't know, maybe if I'm flying around, it feels better than the A button. I bet you that's it. As I get used to it, maybe the LB just feels better. Look at them. Swarmies. What? No! No swarmies. So is the, uh... The golden shard, just a checkpoint? That's all my great golden shard is? Here I come. Whoa! Chew me up. I suppose I should have flown away from that. Didn't fly fast enough. I gotta like go towards him and up. Fighting in the air? In the air, I suppose. <laughs> Gotta land sometime. Yes. Get right back into the action. Yes. Is there any cover to hide behind? Not really. I do think it's funny that he put like these mushrooms in here or something that kind of troll you. You're like trucking along doing like the, the ground combat thing and then you hit one of these mushrooms and it bounces you off of your floating platform forcing you to fight in the air now I should try See if I can pause it and get over. We'll try some of these scatter seeds. Put that there. And then it's probably not easily selectable by the controller, so I'm gonna push three on the keyboard and see if I can't scatter some seeds. What do those do? Go off and fight for me. Fight for me. Weak. 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 Yeah. Maybe they chip off a little bit of their health. Yeah. Whoa, this is what I need. <laughs> I need to release those suckers on shards because I hate them. I don't do good with shards. What I need is unlimited mana. If I could just roll these little seeds, an army of 10,000 seeds, that would be alright. That would be alright. How long do these seeds last? Quite a while. We 
You guys aren't going away? Cool. Maybe this seed is my miracle seed. Not good combos, dying a lot. Interesting game. Let's do one more. You got one more in you? Oh, that pumpkin path again. Ooh, Pepper Peaks. Pepper Peaks sounds all right. Let's do Pepper Peaks. What you think? Definitely like to, once again, bring up the Indie Game Collective. They're the ones that set up this whole thing. Uh, I'd like to thank the developer and publisher for providing a key for this showcase on this Sunday evening. All right. Didn't want to end the stream like that. <laughs> uh, Pepper Peaks, I guess that's as far as we're going to get tonight. I'll try and get back to this one yet this week. Play maybe another hour of it or so. See where, see where it leads, what other obstacles, what enemies, what spells they come up with. So far, just all the floating islands. Um, I guess... Yeah, to keep to keep the action frantic, there there's not a lot of cover, not a lot of like being able to to, to find a post where you can kind of fire upon your enemy without them engaging you. A lot of the enemies have uh, distance attacks, but uh, just working on the overall controller support, uh, getting that dialed in, and uh, other than that, the graphics are beautiful. Uh, great soundtrack. It kept kind of upbeat and kept things frantic, especially as all the enemies came in and like there's a, a frantic fight going on. That's that's a, a good feeling. Um, so yeah, maybe keeping things on the islands keeps that uh, that combat close and up front and in your face and the feeling of, of survival. I do like that. The respawning doesn't really count against you other than your combos, so it allows uh, maybe players that are looking for a bit more of a casual game to be able to just flow through it. Um, but yeah, check it out. I think it is $9.99. I'm not able to get that up right now. That'll be it for this Sunday night. Thank you for checking it out. Until next time, we'll see you again on the Bean Farm. Where I put the keys to the track. <laughs> so, you know, we make these new review videos every week. So, if you're an indie developer or there's something you want to see, uh, how about no? Or call a pootie. Let us know your thoughts and recommendations in the comments down below. Be sure to visit again next week as we continue to take humorous stabs at some of the industry's new and upcoming titles. Stories untold. Stay safe out there. We'll see you next time on, on the, the Fog. Fog.